Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to be doing a fall tutorial where we are going to be painting watercolor leaves and we're going to be using the Scrifito technique where we press into the paper with a push pin to create the patterns on the leaf. The first thing you need to do is gather some leaves. Then I'm gonna show you how to tape a border. The first way to draw the leaf on the paper is to place the leaf on your paper and trace it. The second way to draw the leaf is to use triangles. After that, we will use the Scrifito technique to press with a push pin, the leaf pattern into the leaves. Then we will paint in the leaves with watercolor, and of course you can use whatever colors you want, but I'll just show you the colors of the leaves that I chose. I had a request for a fall themed tutorial, so pumpkins or apples, and I chose to do fall leaves. And we're going to be using a push pin. So if you are young and you're watching this, make sure you have an adult supervision because push pins are sharp and I don't want you to get hurt. The first thing you need to do is go out and gather some leaves. This is what I did. I went on a hike this morning and I gathered these leaves. So go outside and gather some leaves. The second thing you need is paper, and I'm using watercolor paper, Canson XL. Then you need a watercolor paintbrush, and I'm using a Winsor & Newton number no. five round. And you need some watercolors, and I'm using this Praying 8 color set. Use whatever watercolors that you have. You need water, paper towel, a pencil, and I have to use an eraser. This pencil doesn't have an eraser on. We are going to be using a push pin. If you're using this, be very careful with this if you are young or even if you're old, be careful with this one. And if you don't have a push pin, you can use anything, just something with a sharp, small point to scratch into our watercolor paper. All right, let's get started. I forgot one other supply, masking tape. You do not have to use this, but I'm going to use it to tape a border around my leaves. You don't have to do this and you can also just draw a box and that would work great. These are the two leaves that I'm going to use. So step one, place your leaves on your paper and grab your tape and tape two spaces that will fit your leaves. Once you put your tape down, press the edges to make sure it has a nice seal. You can move your leaves. Step two, once you have your borders taped on, we're going to draw the leaves. And the first way to do it is to trace your leaf. Press your leaf down and go ahead and trace it. You don't wanna draw this really dark because it's just going to be in the background. Now let's draw a leaf. So what you wanna do is start by drawing a triangle and then we're going to draw a triangle that's coming right up out of the top of it like this, a triangle that's coming out of the side and then a triangle that's coming out of this side. And then out of these triangles, we're gonna draw another one just sitting on top. Shorten this one up a little bit if you drew yours as long as mine. Draw your stem coming out of that shape. Now let me show you how this makes a leaf. And then you just outline it and erase your lines. The second step is to draw your leaves on the paper. You can either trace it or you can use this triangle method. The third step is to paint a background if you want it. A very, very light background. You do not have to paint a light background in the beginning. You can paint a dark background after, a blue sky after, anything you want. But for this technique, I'm going to be painting a light off-white background. One other supply, again, I always forget to mention everything in the beginning, is a flat brush to do a wash in the background if you want to. So those of you that wanna do the background, the step three, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a puddle and then we're gonna grab a little yellow. So if it's a little bit too bright and yellow, you can add just a little bit of purple to it. Tone it down a little bit. Okay, now hopefully you have enough color mixed up that you can paint your whole background in. And so this is kind of what it looks like on my paper towel. Once you have your puddle mixed up, go ahead and paint over the whole thing, making sure your tape is secure. I'm just slightly overlapping these lines, but I'm not scrubbing it. Once you paint that in, let it dry. Once your background is dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape. Try not to tear your paper. Once you have taken off your tape, we're going to do a technique called Scrafito. And this is where we're scratching in the design that is inside of these leaves. So grab your push pin, and I'm gonna zoom in on this leaf first and we'll draw the pattern. This is step four. You wanna take your push pin, and what we're going to do is we're going to press into the leaf, down to the stem, from this corner, and we're bringing it all the way back down. Scrafito, we are scratching in, and then from each of these points, we'll bring them down into here. And then in this center part, we'll just add a few that are coming up to the side. And you can add ones that are coming off of the side of these ones. I always just think we're making a bunch of Ys. You can just kind of do as many as you would like to fill this in with. Once you get a few of those on there, this is when you can paint it in. And I'm gonna start by painting this one. Make sure you have your paper towel ready and let's get started. I'm just gonna use these colors, reds with a little bit of orange around the edges. Mix up a little puddle right here. And I'm gonna put some red in it and some orange. And of course you don't have to use these colors. Look at your leaf, see what colors that it is. 
Then I'm gonna make a puddle up here that I'm going to add orange to and yellow. We're gonna start with our red and we're gonna move into orange and watch how this graffito works. So now we're going to paint it in. So this is step five. We are going to paint the leaf in using two to three colors. I'm just kind of starting at the stem here, moving out to the petal. Once I get up in there, I'm gonna grab my orange and come around these edges. And I'm overlapping the red so that it mixes. So we're gonna grab our red again and come back up into this middle section. And we're gonna grab our orange and paint in the edges. And I'm overlapping it to get it to blend. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna grab our red, start at the bottom of these leaves, just start coming up on the leaves a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab this orange color and overlap it. This tutorial will probably not work unless you're using watercolor paper. And then for the stem, we're gonna start with just this orangey color. And then I'm just gonna grab a little brown. Just grab a little bit of brown and put it on the end. So now let's work on our next leaf while this one dries. All right, with this leaf, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to be using our push pin to draw in the patterns. And we're going to draw the patterns in the same way that we did over here. We're gonna draw lines in from all of these edges into the center by the stem. And then now we're gonna bring these other ones into this one. Now we're just gonna be drawing Ys off of each of these and just bringing more lines into the edges. You can bring as many as you would like. I like just to do at least two on each. And once you get those in there, let's go ahead and paint this leaf in, and this one's going to have a little bit more green on it. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of green for this one, almost like a lime green. And this one also will have a little bit more yellow on it. Okay, now you can layer these colors however you want. So I'm just mixing, I'm playing around with my greens, with my yellows, and with my reds. So I'm just putting green on the top and then I'm grabbing my yellow and coming right next to it. And then I'm gonna blend it into my red. Paint the stem. And the cool thing is once it's dry, I can layer and I can bring my red and come back over the top of this one. This is more of a multicolored one, and this is just more of a classic red and orange leaf. But make these leaves as bright as you would like. I just wanna show you how you can darken it up just a little bit. If you want it to be a little bit brighter, just do another layer. So you can leave the leaves like that, or you can paint them just with another layer of the same colors if you want it to be darker and if you want it to be brighter. I also could have just made them a little bit more brighter and added more pigment to them when I um, painted them in the beginning. If you wanna add some highlights in the leaf, you just dry off your brush a little bit, soak up some of the paint in those areas that you want to be a little bit lighter to add a little bit of depth to the leaf. So this is my second layer and you don't have to do this again, this is just optional if you would like to. I'm kind of just going over the same colors I had before. So again, this is optional. If you wanna make them brighter, just add another layer of colors over the top once. Just make sure the layer underneath is completely dry or else you'll end up just taking that color off. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.